Hey everybody, I hope everybody's having a really good week this week. So this week what's popping and dropping is a ship pop-up card. Now I know this is just a template. This is just the beginning of it. It's going to look so much cooler when we complete it, but you get the gist of what it's going to look like. So why don't we go ahead and head over to Design Space. I'm going to show you all the pieces you're going to get to create this card. And let's go ahead and head that way. I'll see you there. Okay, guys. So this is what you will be getting in this file when you open it up. Uh, these four pieces here will go on the back of your ship. These um, little pieces here are a little bit different from the other ones I created because I did these as charms. I thought it would be fun to put charms on the front of the card. And all of these images um, are free for you to use. So why don't we go up and name and save our project, add any additional pieces that you would like to add. And we can go ahead and get our pieces cut out and I'll meet you at the craft table and I'll show you how to put it together. I'll see you there. Okay guys, now that we are at the craft table, why don't we go ahead and get our pretty paper, um, our card base. We can work our score line and then put our pretty paper on. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Now what we can do is get out our pieces that will make our mechanism, which is um, this piece and this piece. And we are going to go ahead on all of our pieces, put our waves on. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Now on these pieces here, we're going to do um, on our score lines. One, we'll do mountain folds on all three of our score lines. It will look like that with the mountain folds and then on our other one we are going to be doing valley folds so to know which way to put the other wave on top they're both gonna face each other like so okay All right, so we are going to take this piece which if you turn it over it's going to be our valley fold okay and what we're going to do is take our end with only one tab at the end and we are going to butt this edge up right up to our edge of our score line okay so about right here is where i'm going to do mine and if you notice i have it butted up let me move this right up to the score line there so i'm just going to fold this over put a little glue and then lay it back down you want glue on the bottom of the flap so there it is and you can see it's not going over our score line there and if you fold it back that's what it's looking like then what we're going to do is take and make sure this is all laying flat you just don't want this tab folded down you want to fold both tabs down and flat like so and then once we have it laying down nice and flat just on this little tab at the bottom we are going to put glue and then fold our card closed that way we know that 
the mechanism is going to be laying the way it needs to lay. So I'm just gonna, you notice where I put the glue? Now we're just gonna shut our card. And you wanna give that a second to dry. And then there we have that. We've created another score line here basically with this edge. So what we're going to do is take this tab and we're just going to bump it right on top like so. You see that? So basically this little tab here is going to lay on this side over here. And the edge here will be on the edge down like so, just like that. Okay, I'm going to show you again just in case we didn't see that. So that's how it's going to look. So we're basically just gluing this tab on our piece over here. And this will be where it should meet down at the bottom. So I'm going to put a little glue and I'm going to turn mine over and then just kind of line it up with my edge here and my edge here. That makes sense. So if you notice, the edge stops at the edge here and then let me fold it back so you can see that side and we glued it on this tab here. Okay. Uh oh. All right. So that's what it should be looking like. Now, because we're glued it on here, let's give it a minute to set. So we're going to lay everything flat, like so. And we're going to put glue on our little small tab at the bottom and this side is a little bit trickier we're just going to put a little glue because we can't lay this just fold it over because it won't lay flat so what i do is if you take this side Like, see how I'm bending it? And keep bending it and then lay it down. You'll have it in the right place. And I don't bend this side, just this side over here. Okay, see how that worked out? Very nice. Now we got our waves. Okay, so why don't we get push these pieces aside and then why don't we get our ship out to put it together okay i think we got everything now this is the little ship that i'm going to put on the front of the card and i just loved how that turned out so how i got this is we're just going to work our score line for this piece here. And you can take a marker. You could take, um, you got ink. You can take it. And this is called Stormy Sky. And I'm just going to put a little on this brush here. And I am just going to go over it like so. And then once you get it however you like it, 
what we'll do is take a little glue and I'm just going to go like all the way around the edge of this like so and then we're just going to put it right on our boat or our ship. And that just gives it some more texture to it. I just think that's so adorable. And then the rest of it is really easy if you can look at the file or look at this. And each piece just layers up on it. Okay, so this is what the back of the cruise ship looks like and I just did that because when it folds down you're gonna see the back of it and just so we wouldn't see all the white back here um, I decided to do something on the back which those pieces are in the file so before we can put our um, cruise ship on what we need to do is put our other waves on and these are really easy to put on you just want it to lay up against this piece here and this piece over here now this is a little long I'm gonna put this end over here just a little past this edge over here so about like that okay and I'm going to snip this end off like so I'm just gonna cut that one little wave off so what we can do is put a little glue on our edge here And then we can sit this where we want to put it. So I think I want mine about like so. Like that. And what we can do is just let this close down. Then what we can do is just close our card and if you notice as i'm shutting the card our piece is laying on top of our mechanism now give it a second to set but if you want to open it up just open it up slowly to make sure it's setting where you want it mine got a little crooked here i'm just going to push it down so that's how it's looking and I just went just a little past, as you can see right there. And it's opening and shutting very nicely. So we can do the same thing to our other side. So I think I'm going to do the same thing again. Just cut this little section off at the end and I'm gonna this time instead of going past it I'm just gonna bump it right up to my edge here so we just need to put a little glue on our tab down here and then get it lined up where you want it And then we're going to shut this side of our card. And you can open it up to make sure everything is 
laying properly here. So this is what our waves are looking like. Isn't that cute? And you just want to make sure everything is folding up nicely. And then um, our cruise, I'm putting mine on this side. And we're going to put it behind our waves so it looks like it's the waves are in front of the cruise ship. And so we just want to make sure nothing is hanging outside. When you put it up. And so I'm going to put mine right there like that. So we can just put a little glue on our the back of our wave or at the bottom whichever you prefer and look how stinking cute that is and nothing is going outside of our card i just love this now the rest of the stuff is just up to you where you want to decorate if you're going to use the things that's in the file so um I'm going to do, I think, my Bon Voyage over here. So when you put anything down, you just need to be careful that nothing um, is catching and getting in the way. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and finish up my card, and then I'll be back in a second to show you what I finished with. I'll see you in just a bit. guys so here is the finished product i just think this turned out pretty darn good we got our little ship up here and then we also have the charms if you want to add those um on your card and i just love that and then we open it up and i did bon voyage and did a little life preserver and then did two dolphins down here and then the lighthouse with some flowers and then of course on the back we have a place where we can write a message and i just added an anchor and the dolphin and guys i just think this is so cute it's adorable do you guys know what kind of vegetables aren't allowed on cruise ships leeks <laughs> I want to thank you so, so much for stopping by and crafting with me. Don't forget to stop by next week to see what's popping and dropping. Bye.